Hello Libra, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Libra? Please and thank you. Messages for Libra. What is Libra needing to know at this current moment? Please and thank you. Okay, so current situation, partner and alliances. What is the current challenge for Libra? Authority. What is the energy coming towards Libra? Energy coming towards Libra. Wisdom. Ooh, okay. What is the energy Libra is being guided to release? Sacrifice. What is Libra being guided to focus on? Conflict and defeat. Who is the person focused on Libra? Patience and planning. Okay, so someone who's been patiently planning. <clears throat> Recognition and reward is showing up as well. I'm put that in. What is the advice for Libra at this time? What is the advice for Libra? Suffering and silence. And overall energy is prosperity begins. So you guys, whoever this is for, you're on the verge or you are in the midst of a new beginning. Um, some of you guys may have this new beginning with someone else, but it looks like you're about to see the fruits of your labor. Prosperity begins is whatever is manifesting for you is tangible. You can, you'll actually be living in this reality. You won't be still manifesting something here. Uh, clarify what partnerships and alliances is supposed to mean for current situation for Libra. Justice, and that's your energy. And the moon. So many guys could be dealing with another Libra. <coughs> Let me see. Clarify this. Because what is this about? Is this legal or five of swords? It looks like some of you guys could be dealing with some sort of legal situation. Um, with justice, the five of swords, partnerships, and alliances here. So some of you guys may be dealing with a legal situation with someone. Because with the Five of Swords, you feel the need to defend yourself in something. Feeling like you have to do whatever you need to to protect yourself in some sort of situation. Clarify, what is this? Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. I'm getting that whatever you're dealing with, Libra, because it does look like you're in the midst of some sort of battle here. Um, cause you're seeking the truth in a situation, uh, or you're wanting the truth to be revealed to, to you're wanting the truth to be revealed in a situation with the nine of swords, whatever this is, like, this is something that you did not want it. This is like your worst nightmare, uh, becoming your reality here. Um, but it's just, it's like, you're just rolling with the punches. Cause it looks like you're just trying to figure out a way to resolve this issue and then just move on with your life. Yeah, <clears throat> I really am getting this energy, Libra. It's like, I really just did not need this shit right now. <laughs> like, that's the energy I'm getting from you. But instead of just focusing on, like, what the negative in the situation, you're focusing on the solution and you're just moving towards the solution, which is why I'm getting you're moving towards wisdom. I am getting that you're about to see yourself in a different light, Libra. Whatever you're dealing with is going to reveal some sort of talent. Something is, is going to reveal something to you about yourself. Because you're going to realize that you're more talented or you have the ability to do something that you weren't aware of. It's like you're realizing the strength of yours. Um, let's see. Clarify authority as a challenge for Libra. Clarify authority. King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay, someone has their back turned towards another person. Because if you see, this King of Wands is facing this Queen of Cups. So they're wanting to take action towards them. But the Queen of Cups, despite the love she has for the King of Wands, she, she realized that it's best for her to turn her back on this situation with this person. 
Um, some of you guys, the challenge in your life right now, some of you guys may be dealing with a divorce or some sort of separation. I don't know. There's some sort of legal dispute I'm getting. It, matter of fact, it doesn't have to be legal, but there is some sort of dispute going on. With authority, it's someone that wants to have power and control over your life, and you're like, no. Or someone that you love, because with the King of Wands, this is someone, when they're in their shadow energy, they, they can be very controlling, uh, abusive as well. So, sorry about that. I get all phone calls in the morning. Um, but I'm getting that, like, their focus, whoever this uh, Queen of Cups is, is someone who has a huge heart. And this King of Wands is someone who took advantage of this Queen of Cups heart. And one of the warnings in the tarot is don't take advantage of the Queen of Cups because she has nothing but good intentions towards people. She has not, She has a huge heart. She will do anything for anyone. You will face your karma crossing the Queen of Cups. The universe will handle you. You don't, you don't got to worry about the Queen of Cups. The universe itself will handle you for disrespecting the Queen of Cups because she's just pure love. Let's see. Clarify wisdom as energy coming towards Libra. The hang one and the two of pentacles. Libra, I'm getting that one of the talents that you're going to realize about yourself. I don't know if you're doing this for yourself or you're helping someone else. But even if you're doing this for yourself, with the wisdom that you're gaining from some sort of situation, you're going to be able to help guide other people out of like difficult situations so when other people are they're not able to see a situation for what it is or they're not able to find a solution it's like you're able to help guide people out of difficult situations because the wisdom that you've gained i'm getting like whoever this is for you're one of like i'm getting like you have one of your purposes in life is to like help guide people towards stability. Because I'm getting like a lot of times the universe brings people towards you with the hangman and the two of pentacles when they're experiencing the downs of life. The two of pentacles is like the ups and downs of life. You know, it's not always going to be up and it's also not always going to be down. And quite possibly you guys may attract people when they're in the hangman energy when it's like, I don't know what to do. I'm, I keep bumping my head in the same spot. And you're like, hmm, I've been there before. Or you just like, you have the knowledge to help guide people. So I'm getting like, whoever this is for, like you tend to attract people towards you who are in need of guidance. Your wisdom is knowledge that you possess. What is the, what is the importance of this? The star, yes, you are whoever this is for. And the temperance. The temperance is all about alchemy. So it's all about transmuting energy, making energy work for you. Um, you're a healer, whoever this is for. I don't know if you practice in spirituality or healing. I don't know. But you are a healer. You're a guide in this lifetime. You were meant to help guide people towards their path, their calling. Because it's like, it's, it's like you're attracting people towards you who can't find their way when it's like they may get a little upset over the smallest thing or you just attract people when they're in their worst moment and you can help guide them. You have that ability to do it um, or the ability to do it. Clarify a sacrifice as energy Libra is needing to release. The tower. Um, I'm getting Libra that you tend to put yourself on the line. I, it's good to, be, you're meant to be a guy, but quite possibly you're taking it a little too far. I don't know. It's like you make all the sacrifices when the shit hits the fan, but you, iron sharp, sharpens iron. Like you, you need some support. You shouldn't be, it shouldn't be everyone is leaning on you and you don't have anyone else to lean on. It's like making sure that everyone is playing their part. Looking, the emperor wanted to come out again. Look, yes, 
the four of swords, you're the big boss that everyone is coming to for all the solutions, but you need to recharge your energy. So you need to figure out what works for you to help you recharge your energy. So that you're not just drained and depleted from helping everyone. Clarify uh, patience and waiting as a person that is focused on Libra. Eight of Wands. Some of you guys may receive a lot of uh, communication from this person, whoever it is, with the Seven of Cups. I don't know. There's some sort of confusion here. But let's see. Clarify patience and waiting. Okay. Well, the King of Cups is definitely a romantic situ uh, situation between you and someone else. Quite possibly it's someone who's been observing you from afar. And I definitely am getting with the Eight of Wands. You can expect like sudden communication from this person that is just completely unexpected where you're getting like all of these messages all of a sudden. But this person has been patiently planning to make their move towards you. So it may be a surprise to you, but it's not to this person because they've been planning this all alone. What is this person's intentions towards Libra? What is this person's intentions? True love. So I'm getting, because whenever the Two of Cups comes out, it lets me know that you have emotions for this person. They have emotions for you as well. So love is reciprocated. You both have love for each other. What is the advice for Libra when it comes to this situation? What is the advice for Libra? I have two ones to come out. For one, I'm getting don't play games. Don't wear a mask. Be honest about the way you feel. Because with the over it, you could be coming across like you're rejecting this person. You're not interested in them. But then really you're excited about this new beginning. You're excited to go for this. But then it's like you're showing this person that you're not interested. So they're basically telling you, just be honest. If you want <laughs> to be with this person, let them know. Don't play games because it's not going to work out if you continue on that way. Because it, it looks like that was part of the problem in the past. Give me one more for this situation for Libra. Yes, I definitely am getting this person reaching out to you, to you with Ace of Swords. There will be communication. There will be clearing of the air. So, y'all have three aces coming out so far. So, you guys definitely have a significant new beginning taking place in your life. Especially for someone here, it looks like someone will be uh, building a life with someone. All right, clarify, you know, what conflict and defeat as energy Libra should be focused on at this time. The Fool and the Seven of uh, Wands. Picking and choosing your battles wisely. Um, I don't know. I'm not necessarily getting that this is about you, Libra. With conflict and defeat, I'm getting that you just are a guide. When it's like people are coming towards you when they're in this energy. When they're just like sinking further into darkness. They've lost their way. Um, it's like you encourage people, don't give up yet, or is is it worth fighting for? I don't know. It's like this is what you're doing. It's like you help people to release the baggage that's been holding them down. But I don't know if it's clear to you or not, but it's coming across very clear in this message. Um, clarify suffering in silence as the advice for Libra. And I really am getting, again, this is people that you are helping to heal helping to guide people who have been suffering in silence, people who have been seeking guidance. These are the ones that you're meant to help guide in this lifetime. Let's see, clarify suffering in silence. Some of you guys, it's like people who are, like you help them, if you see the sun right there, you help them to see the light. You help them to see uh, hope in a situation because with the nine, a lot of people right before they uh, cross the finish line, that's when they give up. But it's like you restore that hope within people when they're on the verge of give uh, when they're on the verge of giving up. That's why I'm getting clarify suffering and silence. I'll go ahead and take yeah. All 
I don't know. I'm just getting that this is yours with the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles represents someone who people feel very comfortable coming to. They're very loving, nurturing. They feel like home. So people are very comfortable around you. Um, I am just getting that. It's like with the world card here, you help people out of cycles, breaking, breaking out of cycles here. But people feel extremely comfortable around you. You have this very nurturing energy. But the main thing for you is learning to protect your energy, learning to recharge your energy. Okay, final message for Libra. Final message for Libra. The Chaser, Cupid's Arrow. Okay. I am getting heal and heart and does look like this is someone from the past so take it as it resonates it does look like someone has someone from the past coming after them so i am going to leave it there <clears throat> these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment this reading resonates with that being said you all take care